Thanks for joining us for another edition of Gridline 360. I am Omotola Omojala. Road transportation has proven globally to be essential to the economic and social development of nations. Connecting states and cities, rail transportation brings ease to doing business, particularly for those requiring movement of goods in large quantity. In Nigeria, rail transportation played a significant role in the commercial growth and social integration of citizens right from the colonial era. Of prominence is the Eastern Rail Line, which linked Nigeria from south-south to northeast, connecting the other regions along its path. This edition of Dateline 360 will attempt a historical look at the Eastern Rail Line, what it stood for and the state today, even as government's attention is drawn to it. The Eastern Rail Line in Nigeria holds a significant place in the country's history, with development and infrastructure impact spanning over a century. Its story intertwines with Nigeria's colonial past, the struggle for independence and post-independence challenges. Yukaria Ugu in our first report looks at the role of this railway in Nigeria's history and the prospects its revival promises for businesses across the country. Zaria Kaora Namoda. This is not a song, but the Eastern Rail Lines, as they were connected to one another, just like the coaches are connected to the train. The Eastern Rail Line traces its origin between the year 1913 and 1964. The discovery of coal in Udi in present Enugu State in 1909 necessitated the laying of rail tracks amalgamating the land routes of southern and northern Nigeria to enable the imperialists turned colonialists to transport coal and other mineral resources from across Nigeria to the seaport for shipment to their country. The construction of rail line from Enugu to Port Harcourt happened between 1913 and 1916. By 1927, the railway was extended to Kaduna via Kafanchan connecting the Eastern Rail Line to the Lagos to Kanu Railway. Then again, between 1958 and 1964, the Eastern Rail Line was extended to East Northeastern Terminus of Medugri. If we trace the history of a railway line in Nigeria, you can as well believe that it started from Enugu. First and foremost, it started from Enugu because of the discovery of coal, 1909. And the rail was uh, uh, was uh, flag to uh, establish by 1914, and they started the rail to evacuate the coal from Enugu to Port Harcourt. That was the first rail line that passed in Nigeria before it extends to other uh, locations in Nigeria, so that they can bring in all goods. You know, rail is very very important in our life, in social economic life. Rail carries bulk goods after ship. What you can think about is railway. The Eastern Rail Line availed the people of Enugu the opportunity of acquiring and selling variety of commodities. When the agricultural yield was on, when the palm produce was being crisscrossed across the nation, when the coal was on the rail, when we had the coal lubricating engine in those days, it facilitated a, a commerce. Today, there is poverty because we are no longer uh, having access to such facilities. So it has adversely affected the areas that seem to today have been abandoned. Mingling and trading with the people of various ethnic groups in the rail line has resulted in intertribal marriages, labor and geographical mobility. When you are in a, 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 in a train, um, a lot of people are there. I could remember even before the war, before Nigerian Civil War, people were traveling from Port Harcourt, from Enugu here to Sokoto through, uh, through train. These are the things that will help our country to move forward. These are the things that will also improve social integration. These are the things that also will improve our economy. As a child, the first time I traveled from Enugu to Ihamufu was through rail line. 
And as you are going along the road, you will, you will get in so so many people, people are in their farm, people um, doing poetry, people doing various uh, arts and acts. You can see them doing this. Is, by that time, you, you'll be comparing it with your own culture and your own social life. And this makes you to integrate, to know what other people are doing because you are seeing it. The rail pass along the villages. Although the key players said the rehabilitation process of the Eastern Rail Line is in phases, but the abandonment state of the routes was blamed on rail tracks vandalism, poor maintenance culture, and the abandonment of coal due to the country's concentration on oil. Over the years, uh, uh, maybe like uh, the rolling stock, maybe we are, maybe we are, uh, we are getting older. The tracks were also being vandalized too. In fact, that's even one of the problems we have. The tracks were getting being vandalized, and uh, if you don't attend, if you don't attend to all these things immediately, it can lead to declining use. But federal government has now come up to reactivate this line, and they are doing it very well. They are doing it in phases. We have operations from Portacourt to Aba. It is functioning and is fully functioning. Players have appealed to the federal government to expedite action on the rehabilitation process to put trains back on tracks. In Enugu, you carry a Ubu, deadline 360. If the Eastern Rail Line was that critical to the economic development of Nigeria, I'm sure like me, you were thinking of the possibility of restoring it. Interestingly, the federal government is working at that. The federal government in the last eight years has committed billions of dollars into the rail sector, including the Eastern Rail Line. Though due for completion by May 2023, challenges halted the full reconstruction. The present administration, however, has promised to deliver the project to the citizenry. Vivian Ezia Diefe in this report examines the success rate of the sector in the past eight years. The railway transport system, which plays a vital role in the movement of people, goods and services, is believed to be an enabler for the economic growth and development of the country. With billions of dollars committed to the sector in the last eight years to the rehabilitation and reconstruction of railways across the country, findings show that the rail infrastructure has grown by 677 kilometers between 2016 to 2021. These include completion of the Itabet Wari Standard Gauge Rail Line after almost 30 years of its commencement. Nigerians also witnessed the completion of a new standard gauge railway between Ibadan and Lagos, including its extension to a Papa port, as well as the completion of the Abuja to Kaduna rail line and many more ongoing projects across the country. A train could take a minimum of 40, could take up to 100 and more, depending on how it is structured, because one uh, freight train could have two or three locomotives, which means it can carry in the same stream up to 100 containers or more, which is to say that a ship that brings up to a thousand could be evacuated if all of it has to be taken out through the freight train within hours. The Southeast will benefit more when we begin to have cargo trains that can carry, you know, goods and big haulage from one point to the other. Meanwhile, reports has it that the rehabilitation and reconstruction of the Eastern Rail Line, which kick-started on the 10th of March 2021, was halted owing to challenges ranging from insecurity, vandalism and paucity of funds. The $3 billion project expected to start from Portakut to all the Southeast states and then others will terminate in Meiduguri, the Borno state capital. President Buhari would, would uh, go down in history as that man who stood out, you know, to complete a process that has been lingering. Uh, and, and sometimes it's not just, uh, it's, it's the will, he had that will to challenge the the forces that have made the rail system not to function well. And if you still notice that the attack is still on, because if you have a functional rail system and functional cargo train, the, the trailers and the long glories may, may not have the kind of business that they have. 
So you can also situate that in terms of the attacks that you are seeing on cannibal, you know, people going to excavate rail lines, take them away to go and, and, and all of that. So, but there is no progress without the rail system, really. The essence is to link Nigerians' industries and agriculture hub to facilitate the ease of doing business. A lot that that line can do, and we can go on and on and on. But we have to get it done. They said it's three years' time to go. We've done Potakot to Aba, which is about 63 kilometers. There is still Aba to Enugu to be done, which is the next phase. They are doing it in phases. Well, thank God they've done one phase. The next phase is up to Enugu. Up to Enugu, 181 kilometers, great. By the time they finish that, I'm sure by the time we are near the next election, they should have gotten to Maiduguri. Because of the volume of business that goes within the southeastern corridor of the country, it is important that you have rails so that you can take stuff from Aba, you know, down to Kano, and then you can take from Aba, Portacot, down to Lagos. That's, that's the whole idea. The, the colonial masters did not build railway to service um, you know, passengers. They built railway to be able to take um, goods from the point of production to where they would be shipped out. That's why you see that it is Lagos, Kano, and, and all of that. To ensure that our narrow gauge functions and is being used for uh, a express train to transport cargo to and from the seaport. This is a fantastic development. It's going to reduce cost of doing business. It's going to improve the ease of doing business. That's improved efficiency. Investigation further reveals that federal government is expected to provide about 15% counterpart funding with the remaining 85% expected through direct foreign investment. In Abuja, Vivian Izadifi. And to your news. An evidence of government's effort at revitalizing the Eastern Rail Line is the revival of the Port Harcourt Abba section of the railway. Gabriel Amunike reports that commuters have hailed President Tinumbu for his bold initiatives in the transport sector and say the revitalization of this not only addresses logistical hurdles but also ushers in a new era of streamlined efficiency and cost effectiveness in trade. The Eastern Rail Line in Nigeria, stretching over 700 kilometers, was initially established to safely convert discovered natural resources, particularly from Enugu along with goods and services to Aba, Port Harcourt and beyond. This rail network evolved significantly over time to becoming a vital social and economic lifeline connecting diverse regions. However, neglect and lack of maintenance over the decades led to a decline in its functionality, eventually resulting in large sections falling into disrepair and abandoned. Recent interventions by the federal government in recognition of the strategic importance of rail transportation has led to extensive efforts to revive the Eastern Rail Line, which spans from Enugu to Meiduguri, covering key industrial and agricultural hubs crucial to Nigeria's economic landscape. The state of the track before the rehabilitation was very bad. One during the period of that COVID-19, hoodlums have been a major constraint here. You see, they go into the section, vandalize, remove the materials, the rail, the sleepers, even up the, to the uh, uh, cliffs. And this has been giving us nightmare. But immediately after after the, the repairs, such uh, action has reduced. With enhanced connectivity between Port Harcourt and Aba under the present administration, this historic rail corridor is not just bridging distances, but also helping to overcome logistical challenges, paving the way for a more efficient and sustainable future. The distance covered between Port Harcourt and uh, Aba is 64 kilometers straight. And, uh, the section has been cleared by the Chinese company. 
and that is why the Honorable Minister of Transport, the FMOT officials, uh, our able MD, Engineer Fidet, Ukeria, they were all here with some directors sometime April, ending to do the uh, official launching and commissioning of the track. And that is why operation has commenced since ever then. Completion of the Port Harcourt to Abbas section, a critical segment, is already having positive impact on transportation efficiency, social integration, and business activities between the linked states and beyond. This rehabilitation effort has not only enhanced the movement of goods and people, but revitalized local economies by reducing transportation costs and improving market access. I feel safer entering the train from Potako to Aba, more like entering uh, the road. Like you can see, I'm having my two kids here. I can't take them to that road. That's why we, I, we decided. We imagine we came all the way from uh, Iwo Ferro down here to come and enter this train. It's far cheap, it's more economical, and it's more safer. I have a vehicle from Portacourt to Aba. I used to spend up to 40,000 for going and come back. But these few days now, I discovered that the uh, federal government have released a train. So going to about coming back and uh, to enter first class like this, yeah, one five going, one five coming for uh, first class and uh, uh, normal second class is uh, eight hundred. So it's a, it's a it's a very nice thing. This is so comfortable and there is no hold up, nothing to bridge the movement on the way. So I think that alone is lively for me. Why challenges remain, particularly with delays in completing all the sections of the rail line? The economic benefits of these investments are undeniable. They not only promise to restore Nigeria's rail infrastructure to its former glory, but also to propel the nation forward as a regional economic powerhouse. Commuters are calling on the federal government to build more rail roads to ease the means of doing business and boost the economy in Nigeria. As Nigeria moves ahead, it is important that the people continue to support initiatives that propel the country towards greater prosperity and connectivity for all. In Port Harcourt, Gabriel Amodike for Dateline 360. Joss, the Plato State Capital, occupies a strategic position when it comes to rail transportation in Nigeria, given its location and the value of the natural resources it provides. As the federal government intensifies efforts at resuscitating rail services in the country, Caleb Gochin examines the impact on the people and the state. That sound, I believe, is a reminder to someone of the good old days when train services were alive and functional in the country. Talk about mass transit and heavy cargo movement, and the train comes handy. So, for those who were beneficiaries, the memories are nostalgic. As a son of a railway staff, my dad works as a railway staff and he retired, my late dad. Uh, then we used to enjoy rail transportation and very comfortable means of transportation, very safe, and uh, you can imagine the number of passengers that the rail, I mean the train carries uh, per time. Normally it comes all the way from uh, Meduguri, Meduguri, all down to Joss here. Yeah? From Joss, it stop at uh, Lafia, Lafia and Makoji, Utupo down to Enugu. Fast forward to 2024, hope rekindled, with the federal government putting in place machinery to sustain efforts on ground towards revitalizing the rail lines for the good of the citizenry. The Eastern Railway Corridor, which links 14 states, is therefore expected to open the areas and stimulate economic activities. When the Eastern Line will be fully rehabilitated, you will see that the economic life here will be activated. The, 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 the movement of uh, farm items, goods will be enhanced and uh, it is train services that can carry such a large number. All hands are on deck, even some private citizens are also supporting the railway in this uh, fight against vandalization. And you can see a few days ago, I think the, uh, the uh, Amin Div won 
and Kaduna, they arrested about 46 vandals. Apart from the business of conveying people and goods to various destinations, the rail transport is a massive employer of labor. Hence, the inactivity of the sector has not only affected jobs, but reduced the inflow of resources to the national coffers. Meanwhile, the Plateau State Government has proved that revamping the sector is not in any way insurmountable, as it has brought on stream some locomotives that ply the Jos Bukru route, the development the people say has brought relief to them. If it comes back to this country, honestly, it's going to do a great good and it's going to bring about technological advancement. People can move from here and there. Transportation will be very, very easy and comfortable for people. Affordable too. I can tell you that the people of Plateau State are eagerly awaiting the arrival of the train because the one they currently enjoy is limited in its area of coverage. And till then, they keep their hopes alive. For Deadline 360, Caleb Bocchino. Now the conversation on the Eastern Rail Line in Nigeria cannot be complete without looking at the impact in the far north. And here I'm talking about Meiduguri. Pauline Kujevana explores the past, present and future of this crucial transportation artery and reports that impact cannot be overstated in boosting trade and transforming livelihoods. This is Meiduguri Terminus, once bustling now lies quiet and empty, a haven for reptiles and a playground for children. The importance of railway in Maiduguri when it was functioning makes people life easy in terms of transportation. Now that is not in operation, it is very difficult to visit relatives in far places. The people of Meduguri had a huge setback as a result of the railway services. There are several opportunities for economic growth and development that we have lost. Constructed in the early 1960s, the Eastern Railway connected Banno State to other states, revolutionizing trade by facilitating the transportation of agricultural produce and natural resources to new markets, opening opportunities for local farmers and businesses. Socially, the railway also connected people and fostered a sense of unity and progress. Improving this railway is one of the very important, vital uh, aspects. It that is going to able. increase uh, this kind of uh, relationship. Uh, it creates, because there will be a lot of traveling across the states, it will definitely improve this, uh, the social activities and social relationship among the society. Today, the railway lies in disrepair, vandalized and neglected, with the trucks and trains in a state of disarray. Movement of uh, goods, uh, passengers, uh, creation of employment opportunities, even security-wise, even see the number of uh, deaths toll on our roads, the incidence of uh, derailments is, is fewer and later than the rate of motor accidents in the country. So there are a lot of advantages. You can see the transportation of cattle, say, to the southern to uh, Port Harcourt, to Lagos. It's easier and cheaper, safer uh, in train than by road. The site and government uh, did something about it, as being done in other parts of the country. Security agencies have been working to protect the railway infrastructure, but vandalism continues to plague the tracks. Some persons tried to cater away some part of this critical asset. Arrests were made. We retreat on that same commitment that we will not relent. We will also ensure that all our policemen will try as much as possible to safeguard not only the railway tracks, but any other critical asset in the state. Reconstructing the Eastern Railway could significantly impact Borno State's economy and social development by creating new jobs, stimulating trade, and improving livelihoods. This railway, it's not just about the trains and trucks. It was the backbone of Borno's economic vitality 
As such, it requires concerted effort from both government and private sectors to revitalize it and bring it to its former glory. In Medugri, Paul Nkujevana reporting for Deadline 360. With efforts underway to bring back the Eastern Rail Line, it is hoped that security agencies will prioritize the security of the rail tracks to prevent further vandalism as we eagerly await full resuscitation of the rail line. I'm Omotala Mojala, and on behalf of the production crew, I thank you for your time. God bless Nigeria.